In this drawing, we have a rotated UCS and a view rotated to the same as the UCS. So we're actually 180 degrees about face, which means that the rear elevation is at the bottom and the front elevation at the top. The elevations have been arranged around our, our plan here, and in the, the sheet we can see that the viewports, uh, they themselves are rotated. If we do an object properties there, we have the rotation angle to give us the correct alignment for our views. Uh, you also notice that we have the boundary set not to be visible. So, going back to our model space, uh, we can see that we have a slight, a slight discrepancy here. We have our text in one orientation and our dimension text the other. Well, if the dimensions are already in the drawing, how can we fix that? If we select it, right-click and go to Object Properties, we'll see that we have a horizontal angle there. If we put in 180 degrees, that produces the text to be consistent with our elevation and the angle of our UCS. Going back to the sheet, you'll see that that is now reflected in the elevation there. But what happens, going back to our model now, what happens if you're wanting to introduce a new dimension? Well, in CADI 16, if we go to dimensions and we come down to the dimension set, we see that we have an additional property here, text angle from UCS. So if we have that ticked, and then we do our dimension, so we're going to a horizontal dimension here, that actually inverts the dimension to be the correct angle for us in our finished drawing.